Let's do the highest motorcycle museum. This is sad right. news. We just got to bring this up because Keith and I both are motorcycle fans. And um, there are some brands in here that you're familiar with. Maybe there's some brands in here you're not familiar with. But um, oomch, this oomch, is uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, if you're man, just tuning this... in and you don't know what that's all about, go watch the previous segment on the Amazon van making noise. Oomch, 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 yeah, there you go. That's that's it. And you'll you'll be enlightened. Right. Absolutely, man. Carry on. So we had a terrible, terrible thing happen, man, over in um, Austria. Um, they have a um, uh, motorcycle museum. It's um, This thing is, uh, let's see. Okay, let me, just, let me just read this from the top of the story here. Um, fans of the European motoring history are reeling today after Austria's top mountain crosspoint motorcycle museum suffered a cataclysmic fire on the 18th of January of this year. Um, this museum is nestled at the base of the Austrian side of the um, Timmelschock Pass, uh, where Austria and Italy meet uh, in the depths of the Alps. Uh, the museum was founded in 2016 by twin brothers uh, Alban and Attila. Uh, Schieber, Schieber, uh, as a way to show off their collection of classic irons. Sadly, man, there were some really, really cool motorcycles. I reached out to a good friend of mine who rebuilds Zundaps. Uh, there were some Zundaps in there, um, Sunbeam, um, Burrow Superior, which is kind of, you know, Burrow Superior was one of those earlier, earlier bikes way back that's just a beautiful piece of machinery, well-built, um, and the company was bought by a French company within like the last five or so years. And in my previous life, I was actually approached by them along with this other gentleman that used to work with me. And, um, we were, we developed some valve train for that particular, the remake of the Burrow Superior, um, so that's kind of close to home, and I know those guys are reeling over that stuff. But, man, it's um, unclear at this point how much damage was done. Um, they said an alarm went off around 4.40 a.m., uh, and by the time firefighters arrived, the building was already engulfed in flames. Um, firefighters quickly got to work trying to prevent the fire from spreading to a restaurant and other buildings nearby, but so far local media report that no people were physically hurt by the um, by this, uh, there's no information available yet on what started the fire, but they lost a ton of bikes, man. That's sad. Yeah. I hate to see that. Um, yeah. Ooh, fly, they even had a flying Merkel. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they had some Harleys in there, some Indians in there. They did have some vintage cars, which included some Porsches and some Ferraris. Um, yeah. Well, that's sad, man. I hate to hear that. But anybody who's a, a motorcycle buff, go check that out, that story out if you want, and, and, and dig into it and go see what they had. But sadly, 2016 is, is when they started this, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist and everything, but you know, you kind of wonder what, what happened there. Yeah. I mean, is it an older building or right? You know, what's, what's going on? Cash flow problems. There? Yeah. I hope I'm not. Just, yeah. I'm, I have no idea. I don't have any info on that, but. Anyway, uh, sad to see those bikes go away. It's only is around two hundred and thirty classic um, bikes. I think they said. Crazy, sucks. <laughs>